Welcome back guys, um, just a little update, uh, what's been going on, video, um, some pickups, even game related, uh, which I, you know, you know, I haven't uh, picked up for a while, but yeah, I got some pickups, um, First up, I want to talk about me selling up a lot of my uh, collection. Uh, just want to make sure that you know I'm not selling up everything. Of course not. And uh, when I said that I'm going to sell up a lot of my RPG collection, it's not. It's not that I, you know, that I don't like RPGs, the that genre anymore. I just feel like. I don't have enough time in my life really to play all these games, so I'm um, I decided just to uh, aim my RPG love towards basically just one generation, and that is my favorite generation when it comes to RPGs. That's when they peaked, I think, and uh, after that, I think it went downhill. Uh, of course, there's a lot of good games after that as well, but. To be able to actually enjoy all these games, I decided just to, you know, um, to focus on the RPGs on the fifth generation, which is uh, PlayStation One, and uh, you know, some Saturn maybe. And uh, I'm not sure with my um, we my um, Operation Rainfall big boxes games you know like you know play chronicles pandora's tower and uh the last story i uh, got th all those three in uh collectors editions i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of those i'm not sure uh i'm a bit on the fence with um my super famicom collection as well so i haven't really decided that but fucking hell i'm not i'm not i'm not even starting selling anything else than uh, playstation 2 really I just started to look into my uh, handheld um, games. Uh, as you can see, it's a big pile here. Uh, this is just an, a double. I w otherwise, I wouldn't say that one. So yeah, I'm I'm looking into other collections now as well. Uh, you know, price it up and uh, getting rid of. You know, mostly my Mega Drive and my system collection. I am so that means like stuff like my Master System converter is going. Yeah, and other yeah, other stuff. Yes, I sold a fair bit. Uh, it's gone pretty good. I, you know, I wouldn't say I've sold everything, but the first batch. It went really fast because that was really fucking amazing games for the PlayStation 2. Uh, then I saw like three, four batches more, and uh, I would say like 50% of them went, uh, you know, with the original uh, price I asked for, which is good. And I also selling my uh, my uh, Super Mario uh, uh, 3 uh, NES, uh, the custom painting one. It's already up to like 150 pounds. It's going out tomorrow, uh, the, the auction. So that's good. So, um, yeah, I think that's about what I wanted to talk about, uh, my collection wise. Uh, I mean, it's not that interesting really. Uh, still gotta have a nice fucking collection, you know, after I'm done with this. Uh, absolutely. Even though I'm, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm selling my uh, Japanese uh, N64, the Pikachu, the orange one. You know, eventually I will get it back. You know, just a normal black one, Japanese back, for like, you know, they are like 15, 20 pounds. So it's not. I just don't need that one, you know, <laughs> to play those games. And uh, yeah, it's nice to get some money in as well to buy some new games, <laughs> which I have done. So, um, the first one is something I got quite a while ago, it's my Final Fantasy collection, it's uh, uh, 
I have this game already in PAL, in NTSC US, and in uh, NTSC Jap as, as well. But don't, I didn't have the full starters, the Japanese big box one. Uh, so this is the the one I got. I paid about uh, ten pounds for this, eleven I think, and uh, it's a nice, nice condition. With you know the the cord and everything in there, yeah, everything is complete and nice nick. So and there was something else I got in this package as well, but I've been thinking and thinking and I can't fucking for my life remember what that was. So I will be in another video when I finally realize what it is. Uh, so yeah, I kind of. Um, finished this game now. Uh, I mean, it's not, I'm not 100% on it yet. Uh, I need to pick up a few more things, but yeah, I beat the last boss of this one. Uh, and I have to say, this is uh, a Nintendo gem. I don't have a fucking clue why IGN, that piece of shit uh, site, gave this like a 7. Uh, this is definitely much higher than that. This is truly what Nintendo is all about. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, so the next playthrough is going so-so. That's why I haven't really put up uh, videos with it because it's the recording bias gets either it's recording like double speed or it's just something fucked up with the, the video. You know, I'm trying to do it. You know, I might give up on this one, but I really want to uh, do a playthrough of this. This is funny. This is a very funny uh, Lego game. Uh, we see. So the game I bought today and I have played today, I'm already into like level 11, 12, something like that. Uh, I just wanted to just play one or two levels, just to see how it is, if I want to do like a playthrough of it. But yeah, I couldn't stop. It's fantastic. Uh, very Nintendo, we have It's Toad, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, absolutely amazing. A bit like you know, like um, Yoshi's Woolly World. It's a lot of stuff to find in these. Um, pretty simple in the beginning, you know. Uh, it's not like you die in this game, really. I haven't died yet, anyway. But um, yeah, it's a lot of cool things to collect, and uh, and if you play Super Mario 3D World, you know uh, what this game is about. But this game is taking that to another level. Uh, so many more things you can do in this one absolutely fantastic and I jumped on the train my friends and uh, I've been thinking that would be cool to have uh, you know another uh, online game I don't have many games that I play online it's basically just Mario Kart but here we, go. we found we got another one it's time for me to get into the Splatoon uh, I've been watching a bit on my uh, good friend uh, uh, fucking hell! I forgot his name. Um, skunk! For oh, fuck's sake, man! So sorry. What the fuck! This video is everywhere, so I just have to just go back a bit, and it'll pop up. I thought. Uh, oh, it's Shaolin Skunk. Shaolin Skunk. For fuck's sake. Uh, so I'm watch be watching him playing this a bit, and uh, yeah, I want to try it out. I haven't, I haven't really played like these, like an FPS online, uh, other than PC. So it will be a new thing for me. I mean, this is not F FPS in that sense, you know. It's more like you shoot color and uh, ink, and you know that cannot travel like a bullet. But yeah. I'm definitely happy to get this. So th these are these are very cheap at the moment. Uh, I would guess in pound this is like a 25 pound game nowadays at least here. This still holds like uh, around 35 new uh, Splatoon. Uh, so yeah, those were the games. I also got some um, um, uh, physical media pickups that I will um, 
put in this video as well. And I got those as well today. It's five movies and uh, three seasons of one uh, series. Uh, so the first uh, movie is it's a movie that I remember a lot. Uh, I really liked this when this came out, and I don't know really why. It's, I think it's I really like the actor uh, who got the leading role. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. When I saw this, I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm picking that up. It feels like more, a bit like in a kind of an 80s kind of vibe movie, but it's made in the early 2000. And uh, yeah, it's Igby. Igby goes down. Uh, yeah. I don't want to spoil, spoil, uh, give spoilers on it, but yeah, it's fantastic. It, like movie in my in my book and this is the classic 80s movie <laughs> when did this come out 86 uh, yeah Highlander uncut version Christopher Lambert uh, the be he's, he's, he's from Belgium I'm pretty sure no he is from Belgium is, is, uh, and he's from the French speaking part of so it's Christopher Lambert <laughs> no uh, I really like his the movies he was in back in the days and this is no exception and this is really good I really like Highland 1 and 2 to be honest I really do who wants to live forever then we got a I like when it, when it ha almost like have a manual in it a uh, classic 70s movie, uh, I we could always say 80s, this is very late 70s, uh, what a movie this is, uh, The Escape from Alcatraz, Clint Eastwood, absolute top class movie, I think all of you have seen it so I don't, I'm not going to say much more about that, this I hope I haven't got yet, uh, it would be kind of weird if I didn't have it actually to be honest, um, the original Wall Street, of course. I don't didn't like the the new one that much at all. This is Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen, and uh, the Splash Lady, Dale Hannah. Fantastic stuff. I would guess eighty eight, something like that, eighty seven. And the last one is, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I laugh. I used to laugh a lot when I watched this movie. Uh, there's some scenes in this one, especially when that I don't know that over white guy sitting in the he's sitting in traffic and he's rapping. And <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, that is so funny. Oh, it's Mike Judd. He did Beavis and Butter. It's Office Space. To work sucks. Working sucks. Yeah, this is classic, classic, pure classic. So uh, yeah, that was those. And um, fuck, you know, I hate stickers. For like, uh, yeah, I think it's really well. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna pick up that many TV series to be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, picking picking up those I think is gonna be like classic. At least in my head, and this is a series I think is. I don't know if you can say this in English, but the most good-looking series out there, uh, almost ever. This is. It's made with such a finesse and uh, a lot of thinking before doing. If you know what I mean, and it's Mad Men. So we got Mad Men, season one, two, and three. Uh, two of them are unopened and uh, one of them is not so it's two seals and one open and uh, yeah I got those three seasons for like five pounds so that was awesome uh, yeah that was it guys I think the waffle video ends there what else what else what else going on Not much, not much, uh, not, not yet. 
there will be announcements later on but for now this is it and uh, yeah be nice guys enjoy the autumn this uh, autumn the fall is it, is it you say fall in in America and autumn in England or what I don't know I say autumn be nice take care